Yes, sir. Okay. So today let's look at the, the exercise we have discussed uh, today, mm-hmm. and uh, then we will work on the rest of the part. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Can you uh, can we? The uh, uh, JSON parsing in exercise, and once that we will go to that for files, and we will create our issue. Yes. Uh, can we look at the code? Sir? Look at the code. Okay. Download lost credit card. Password and password and talk price. Yeah, it's a quick time. Sam, can you uh, maximize this thing? Double click on the site. You can double click on the last one. Very good response. What are you to play this? I don't need that. No, that's what. This is what I want. I want to look at uh, the whole code. Okay. So you have used string processing, right? Thing, string split. Uh, can you? Did you look at uh, JSON? Uh, yes, but I have heard so many uh, questions regarding JSON. Okay, I have questions. Uh, we will not talk. We have implemented using JSON response. You can see JSON response is a string, but we need to consider JSON uh, uh, mm-hmm. Available to you to like a dictionary. Mm-hmm. 
so uh, yeah can we go ahead with your question so we'll clarify your question then we will yeah yeah Yeah, actually, uh, say red apple JSON is it's uh, uh, it's just uh, yeah it's a syntax for storing and exchange data. Uh, that means okay. it's uh, why I understood is uh, we use this for exchanging the uh, data from the web server to our uh, browser and from web browser to the web server. That's not necessarily to be web server to web client. Web client to server. Mm -hmm. this, this was the intention when it was developed, uh, you know, a decade ago. So now the usage is more. But the usage, so what doing the server is sending JSON response to the browser. The browser is parsing and displaying the data. At least we have to use that JSON response. Uh -huh. to we have to use that in our Python program, and we know that. So we have a string, right? We, from the string, we need to convert that into JSON, and we should use it. So that in Python we have a JSON module. There are two ways to do it. Either you can convert a string to a JSON or JSON to string. So can you the uh, relevant methods from JSON? What's the what can I on what in, in, in Python how to convert string to JSON or JSON to Python? Okay. In our what we need, so can you can you explain me the uh, can you explain okay. me it again? Okay, I, I'm if, a little confused. If, if you if you what is the data you are getting from the URL? Data. It's ring, right? Stock data in okay, the form okay. of string. It's in the form of string, yeah. yeah. But string, it's a JSON, right? It's yeah. a JSON structure. So we got this string to the JSON object. Uh -huh. Okay, this object is available. It is easy for us to manipulate. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So now we know how to convert a string into a JSON object in Python. What we have this to the day. Yeah. Yes. And you get something like this. Day price last at a time. Yeah. One second the data one one second. Okay. Or 
the json structure this is the json uh, this is the string yeah but it's actually json yes. right yeah we have json with it oh, that's that's fine so this what gets so you need to cut this into a, a json object it is a json object yeah case uh, in our example it's it's, it's the json is one so that we don't have any any given select value uh, that, that's kind of not what you go ahead with that we will come back to that you convert string into json and try to access any of these concepts using dictionary like uh, people dictionary like can can you message me i am not getting the word no no okay, that uh, example which you have seen in start work You, you mean this example? Yes. So they are converting the JSON string string to object, right? The object name is D. Okay, the object they are trying to get the class name. After the class name, they are trying to get the title. Yeah. Okay. If you the next next answer, so we have a JSON with only two fields. I name. Trying to load. Uh, convert top that start to JSON, and they have to get you know O of ID and O of O here represents the object, right? So this is okay. Then go. You can yeah, you know uh, output the uh, uh, the HTML output to uh, JSON loads. Yeah, that means in the code here I. Not this uh, split. I just convert the string into the yes. Uh, yes. into object, yes. and I can just uh, bring uh, Access. it out. Yes. And just do now. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Can you? Write? Oh, okay.
JavaScript object notation. Okay. If you use Control Shift O, it will automatically, uh, you know, arrange the import order. First, it added the import statement from the standard library. After that, it added the import statement from the third party library. Correct? Several the advantages of using uh, these kind of an editor. So what we need to do is we need to convert that stop uh, response to a into, Yeah. Uh, I would just trade it response. Last traded price, right? Oh. Oh. I think you had last traded price, the first one. Yeah. Last traded price and last traded time. Because you needed only one. Right? 
they have to access one by one. If you number, so they have given comma right. The second asset is stack overflow. It's not extra structure, right? Of ID, comma of ah, that they they have glossary inside the glossary they have type. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So you want to get a board in one line? What what to do? Board. Yeah. Give object of last hundred price, comma. Okay. Yeah. Object of last okay. hundred time. Uh, instead of uh, writing this bracket, we also I think we can write j object dot last traded price comma j object dot uh, price. Let's try that. Let's try that. So let's try let's check whether this works. If it is okay. not if it works, then we will try that. Okay. Says before the opening square bracket. Space the line number twenty. Right, so it's started printing. Mm -hmm. Try with dot. Yeah. Variables. Object on the Okay. So it's a dictionary. It's an object. It's an object. Okay. So the exercise for you is to find out why it is not working like this. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead with the old approach. Bracket and the uh, yeah, yeah. And we we will return this both, and we'll use this uh, thing to get the data in the file. Okay. So cutting the system timestamp. Instead of that, we need to write this timestamp, right? The timestamp is from the. Yeah. Now we have to write it in the I cannot hear you. Uh, these leave into the file. It is being read on the screen. Okay. Uh, in the file actually I stored the data in, into the file infosys.txt. Okay, are you right? Are you 
using this can delete the file and rerun the program again okay. but i don't know why i'm getting the uh, i mean here actually we need to get the output in infosys dot uh, can, can you read can you read your record can go to line number 20 okay Yeah. I think no. Uh, okay, show the code. So, so you are sending two different data, right? You are sending started price and last started time. Okay, but when you receive it, no, you cannot have two different uh, uh, statement. Okay. In call method, in line number thirty-three, storing it in only one data. So you need to have last traded stock price, last traded time, and you need to pass those two variables instead. Store the traded value. Okay. It returns two different values. Right? You need to store two different values. That's correct. That is, that statement is correct. And I need to store it into the one value. That two values. Two values. In line number thirty-three, you have to say last traded stock price, comma last traded time. Okay. And pass these two variables inside the in line yeah. number thirty-four. Yeah. Actually, we can pass this. Two values here into the one variable, and we can use only variables not, here. That no 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 that's not the proper way. So the caller function will be used might use this for a different purpose. Okay. Okay. Uh, like two values, right? Yes. No, that is no, when you pass your get a string, you are passing a string. When you receive, receive two different values, right? We store in the store procedure. We need to change. Three, how many values we are receiving? Three, 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 Do can you print that last hundred stock price in line number thirty? Yeah. One second. Let um, actually let let me think. One second. Uh, and I mean, what actually is here are storing the two values. Uh, should we store? Uh, I mean, here is getting the two values. Should we store here in the two values? Hello. 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 Hello.
Pass those two values. Last set of stock price, the last set of time. Yeah, the picture. We need to add this. When we find you start to understand, it is that what we have like the last set of stock price with timestamp, right? We need to remove. In this method, stock credit value with timestamp, you are not returning anything. Correct? Yes. So move that. It's just a method call without uh, returning anything. Line number 25, you have to use last standard time instead of date time dot date time dot now. Instead of using the system time, we are using time from the response. Yeah. Can you run the dump? First, I would request you to delete the file. Okay. 
I think I did not use another slide. working fine and what we have to do is we need to change the variable name now okay okay uh, we are returning two values we should uh, give that Reduce. values into two to two when uh, yeah. okay yeah okay. i okay one was returned okay. yeah okay okay mind and uh, can we go through naming convention. Okay. So in number thirty, we do is it's a stock sales URL, not the last traded URL. Yeah. Correct. Can you shift R and change it? Shift. Or you rename a variable. Okay. Maybe need to stock the URL. It's a URL, right? It's a stock details URL. Okay. Okay. So why was more in interesting in older classes also, right? So you are trying to you know go as an experienced uh, developer. Okay. So these are the if you go and if you use something like A B or something like that, they will easily that you are not you know quite confident about writing the quality. Okay. So now download lost traded content. Lost traded content. Download. Stop. You don't need to have that content. Mm -hmm. Change. Yeah. Because you need to go with rename when you have more than one. Uh, Okay, what you have done next, you should have renamed even before you change it. Okay. So, details, talk details. You don't need talk details content, just the talk details should be fine. Remove the content. The variable also. Instead of last traded input URL, it should be. Stock details URL. Right? Now all should start. Just tell us that. Do one part and you can take it that value. It will change in two places. Even if it is, it will change it in one part. So, 
then you are the quality of uh, your code is you know improving every day so i could see that you know how you in the way uh, how we use underscore how we use method okay. but it's not up to the market okay okay and the, the where you all this uh, download doc detail i think you, uh, that place we have added given download doc details underscore okay. so i think that are seeing the error right Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you getting getting answer? It's not a response. It's just in fourteen and fifteen. Either have you know this response or not be this response. Hello. Yes. So we can talk with response. Talk with the response and contact again. So can go to the place where we call this download talk details. Then you get this data as talk details info. So that's talk details. So we all should talk. input it's an info ins again you need to do all shift yeah, yeah yeah it's been used in line number 33 as okay yeah on 33 and it Because he said for the red stock price, okay, for the red stock price. So now we need to get. No, 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 no. Oh, one moment. So uh, let let try to put strong in this. Okay, you should not use the method. For stock details, okay, for stock. No, let let me let. Last trading details from info. You target this info. What past last trading details? Trading details. Be fine because in the method we are giving target this info. Okay. In, time, are in, right? in the method here we are saying stock details info or we are saying stock details content you know the program will work but we are seeing some inconsistency right hello yeah, change that the line number 18 change to stock details info from stock details content
details contain what stock details info stock details info Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And what's the object? Yeah. Underscore object. So in Python, everything is an object. Okay. So one rule which you need to follow the rest of your career is you should never ever name a variable called an object. Okay. Say variable JSON. JSON. Stock. Stock details info JSON. Stock details JSON info. Now it is more readable. Yeah. And what? What the? Uh, how did I ignore the page? Okay, we um, So what is the error okay. code which gives? Can you try to find out the error code? It should be starting with some E or something, right? Line. Line. Yeah. Line. 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 The reason is we can ignore this. Uh, we should not ignore uh, otherwise the character, okay. the line length of a is uh, decided long time before. Now the screen resolutions and, and uh, the monitor rates are much, much higher. So okay. we can change it to something else. Okay. Uh, can you? Go to Pepe. Notational argument you can give hyphen hyphen ignore equal to e by zero one. So give an example. Right. Hyphen hyphen not the code. Hyphen hyphen ignore equal e by zero one. This here. The above string, in your text box, there is something called argument, right? If that additional command line argument, yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. Follow this. E zero one. Okay, apply. Okay. Yeah. Can all change and try to save it? What, sir? Can you change in the file and try to save that because this ran only on the successful save. Delete the delete that space and save it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you what it is, you can right click and you can run code on the file. Code on. Add up e changing e five zero one. This is what we have given, right? E five. Zero one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, moment. I let me check on my meeting about how to ignore this. Okay. I'll give you get back. Okay. So what we need to do is look at the line number twenty-five. We are saying stock underscore info. You can pass any URL, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the right. Okay, line to be returned. Here. Yeah. Yeah, that variable should be changed to line to be done. Okay. This is can you take file name also? Do yes. This is on on moment on moment. So okay. you are trying to use a file last letter underscore Infosys, but okay. rather we are passing Infosys details or we put details or some other company details. So in the when you call the method store, try to value with timestamp, right? Mm -hmm. You are passing two variables: last letter stock price, last letter time. Mm -hmm. Also, you can pass the company mm -hmm. as a string. Okay. And you use that value in the file name. So in this method number 34, you will pass last letter stock price, last letter trading time, comma entry, and you will receive that entry in line number 23, and you will use that in line number 24. Uh, no, I. <laughs> Can you use the variable? Called but yeah, and the after line number. The line number there because company code is a variable, right? So we have not given the value for it. Yeah, not a line. Company code equal to input. It's the same. Company code. Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we use that company code in method line number three. Can you remove that store that? Remove DHT, right? Store and value with timestamp. Uh, I think I would suggest to change this store last order details. In the file, right? Can you think of about a bit how to use that? The first name. Uh, I write the company code here. You can. Can you correct me if it is wrong? Is a variable that variable should be used when we we use the file name, right? I don't I I don't know how to use it. Actually, it is you have to you can declare something. See, we are using the two variables in the line to be written, right? Say you can try to you know take another variable called file name or card file name that you can use.
do not use string concatenation right you should use something like sub string you from line number 26 yeah yeah <laughs> okay. What I'm, what I remember I'm writing that. No, no, no. Okay, you don't need need to remember anything. You can just see line number the next line, line number twenty six, and you can write. Mm -hmm. So you, what you have to do is you have a text. Tell you how it needs to be. Okay. okay. It should be something like you know within the quotes, long thread underscore double space. Okay. It's just a substitution, right? Open a state underscore thread. No, 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 nothing. Just say last underscore thread, right? Because text which needs to be part of this, right? Last underscore okay. thread. What is substitute underscore? Can underscore? Yeah. And the name should come, right? Okay. Uh, curly break. Mm -hmm. okay. This good is called placeholder. Give me that format. And the uh, placeholders you have given only one, right? Only one. Yeah, so that's that, that value. That value for that. This is the value. The comment say the better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Variable name is two to five name. So it's also fine. Uh, so that is stored by should be used in line number twenty five, right? Yeah. Okay. You can delete that. Uh, yeah, okay, you just run it. Run the program. Okay. Created a new file, right? We have seen the other code. Let's try that. Uh, can we continue the code tomorrow and see the issue? Yeah, I have time. So, can we finish this last one? Yeah. yeah. No, no, I thought you will not have time for uh, and I, I the have time. I, I have time. For. Okay, okay. Then um, some okay. This is the company that. name. It's funny code. Hello. It's funny code. Hello. In fee, in fee, you can use this. Funny code, okay. Then change the link also. Yeah. It is fun. I cannot hear. Sir. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, it's okay. fine. Change it in line number thirty-one and thirty-two. I change the line number thirty-one and thirty-two. Okay. Uh, I'm 
I should send link, right? Only the last company code will be. Okay, okay, okay. And work. Yeah. Can you now? I think that's fine. Yeah. Fine, just send the program. So this is the advantage of refactoring it. Mm -hmm. Right, go to India now. C5, which is created the last started in the NB. Okay, is there anything that the values are started coming? Okay, okay, okay. So then we'll do one more of the last refactoring. So what is the where we want to add a new company code? We are adding it twice, right? We are adding it in line number 31 and 32. Yeah. Right. So why don't you use it on only one line? We can do it. Tap the line number 31 and 32. Okay. Well, instead of hard coding that Indian, we use the variable company. Okay. The in the in the model in the in well, yeah, instead of in that Indian, we can use company code variable. So, now you cannot directly use that, right? Mm -hmm. Use the string format. So, you should put a placeholder. Mm -hmm. Oh, it should be outside the string. You should practice it, okay? Because if you go to any if you are any application, so you are dealing with the company code. Okay. Is this company code defined? Did yes. We declare this variable. Company code is yeah. Here yes, already we did. I think it's, it it need it need to be in the uh, line. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Fine. So, uh, tomorrow's exercise is you give list of company codes. Okay, I will give five company codes. Okay, in this, you need to the value for every minute for all the five companies. Currently, we, are, we have written a code for only one company, right? Okay, it needs to be five different companies. I think he, we can give here the five companies and we can. Yeah, no, 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 one moment, one moment. So, you, yeah, you need to give in a company codes and you need to have a loop. Okay, you think about it and you implement it. Okay. okay. If I get, I will do it. Then you can. Yeah. No, no worries. Okay. If the quality of the code is increasing, but you need to understand how to write a code. We are accepting the requirement. Okay. Okay. So and also I have found out what's the problem with the paper. Can you go to the preference. So, preference. Go to the page. Set use system interpreter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Apply it. And you can all the lines which you have given for it. Is the error is gone or still there? What, sir? Can you run the code analysis again? Let's see. So you need to right click on the source file. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, that's the one which we have not in their time. Mm-hmm. You can do that control D. Yeah. Uh, you can remove that uh, ignore pip weight in all the places. Or okay. 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 We are going a bit, bit, bit little slow, but it's okay. But to so make sure that you understand the concept, you understand, you know, how to take the requirement. So did you okay. get a chance to read the book? No, I didn't read the book. Actually, I read uh, about Chase. So, I would strongly recommend to read the book. Yeah. Uh, you take two to three days and you should be done with it. So, it will take a good amount of time, but okay. that will leave you a you lot know, of interest about how to write proper code. Okay? Okay. If you're not making small, small mistakes in that, so we can really go to the advanced stuff. Okay? Okay. So without you know fixing the basic going on you know doesn't make sense waste of effort from my side and all okay 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 so look at the job profile which you have uh, short listed and we will see what are the things we know and things we need to learn what are the things we can be have open few links uh okay. the job Yeah. Okay, and you go to the top, the central requirement. Yeah. Uh, creating our application in the LAMP stack. Uh, so, so what they say that even, even if you're not an expert, that's okay. Okay. Uh, so what they are trying to say is you need to work on Linux, Apache, ISQL, and Python RPH. In our case, it's going to be Python, right? So how good you are with Linux? So, I okay. So whenever you go to you know, any this kind of a PHP or you know, this Python developer, so nobody will use Windows. Okay. Only people will say they use Mac or they use really nice. So you should start learning really nice. okay. additional learning for you. Get to get one to on machine. Uh, okay. to find out, you know, if any of your friends can help you in installing open okay. U-E-U-N-T-U. Yes, open to. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you are learning Python, and you should know the MySQL. So you mentioned that you know MySQL, right? Yes. I know just the basic. Okay. You, to re- you really need to write some application. Okay. Okay. Experience. as a team member delivering a commercially available product so you are not just a <laughs> now developer so you need to write a production quality code should go for the commercial market okay, okay. next thing what is saying is the generic one third one is the ability to go deep for understanding about particular it domain storage networking virtualization and video from a monitoring and management perspective we required you don't have to come with you now but uh, you need to dig deep and learn it i okay this is kind of attitude they are looking for i think you're fine with that okay mp at i see my days i'm actually so if you have written a software that involves these technology you are likely able to like do it in something but not all that's perfect uh, there are things are bit advanced. Advanced. Yeah, mm-hmm. These things are personal. Last experience in an agile. Uh, uh, in what is can you look at uh, what this company does? Because whenever you apply for a company, so they will try to look for Python and they will look for that domain. Yeah, this the, this is the just a description. I don't have any description other than this. other than this. 
you are no once you learn linux you are fit for you know maybe first couple of points only thing that this snmp ito em you might not know that's okay okay, okay. So you said we, we need to they are looking for this linux apache mysql and php okay okay I can go to yeah next okay. this is lamp stack lm okay lamp stack Uh, this color easy or this take time? It is on time. It depends on how much capacity you for. You know, uh, I'm learning everything now. I don't know HTML. I don't know JavaScript. Uh, I'm learning this all since one month. <laughs> I'm doing all the Coursera courses. Or uh, everything is with. I don't know uh, what I am doing, but but I know that I improved a lot I, I, in one month. I, I got I, I got it. So how much time you have uh, to get it? Uh, actually, they will, they will start marketing next week, I guess. Then with the phone calls, I need to at least know the basics of uh, everything. Already have one week, right? Yeah. Okay, it is decent enough, but uh, you know, not good enough to you know master this this thing. Yeah. Uh, let's manage it. So the moment you started attending interviews, then you will really know where you are lacking. Yeah. Okay, you can concentrate more. Can we look at the top? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you go a little bit up? Well, most of the things like I mentioned in that paragraph. Okay, the current generation and discussion is responsible for small participants and distributed. Place for the process across the two top machines to generate the data. Data. Make data available to our client via various delivery mechanisms such as web services. Do you know what is web services? Mm -hmm. okay. It's called message queue, SFTP, secure FTP. So this is it didn't take much time, so you should learn about what is web services, what is message queue, what is SFTP. Okay. Uh, In web services, we have two kinds of web services. One is REST, and one is SOAP. Wherever, wherever I saw and saw some REST API. There are two kinds of web services. One is one is SOAP. Okay. Everything, yeah, it 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 should be uh, caps. It should be okay. Mm -hmm. Rest of okay. Okay. Okay, and you know about message queues. Menu. Yeah. That's a web uh, service or? No, 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 that's a different thing. Message queue. Okay. Okay. Q. Q. E. U. E. U. E. Yeah. And you should know, you know, basics of, you know, let me go to the next thing. You should know the DP, what is SSL, what is HTTPS. No, they have mentioned it, but it's simplified, so you can note down. So, what is it? TP. Okay. All. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need that I, because I have a computer network in engineering. Okay. Okay. It's the TPS. No, can it's the TPS? So we have read about it. Uh, definition. 
if you can add html css jquery yeah don't add angular js because it will take good of time to learn it okay html it's css jquery you can use you know like like a library written in java Okay. I know HTML and CSS. I'm a jQuery. I'm good set up courses in HTML. Jquery is not a not it's not a big thing. You can, you can, if you know Java stuff, it's much. Okay. And uh, what else they have mentioned? Python, Django. You can add Django. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. and they are looking for ms sql postgres adder and analytical packages and ftp too so ftp we have already noted on ftp and ssp okay so you don't need to you know worry about all the database we have oracle db2 ms sql postgres there are there are so many and you don't need to worry about all okay. keep one my sql so that should be fine. yeah i know only my sql <laughs> they really same only you know how to install how to write queries it will be different code is same uh, you know, the execution will be different okay okay if you, are, if you are able to write query to fetch the you know from the table that should be mm-hmm. yeah okay okay so at line to a fresher job then we should know all these what the company you are looking for if you are going for startup or if you are going for a yeah, team which is specifically looking for something then you should sure, uh, no few of them yeah, okay, but when you are when you yeah actually in my case for even applying for uh, a full job i don't have the, the qualification for applying that job for other jobs because i came from another background so uh other backgrounds means not computer science uh, i can i did elect- my engineering is electronics and communication and after some i did electrical engineering are oh, you an engineer yes yeah, it is okay yeah. if you are top the people who is in the industry for you know 10 20 years they will come from you know even worse of backgrounds like you know civil engineering like yeah yeah that's why i'm yeah. doing first course there are courses at least i will have a proof that i know so, the, the see uh, my my suggestion is that you know it's not so hard okay problem you try it's not so hard the only thing is that you should have a good amount of common sense when you write, write the code it makes takes first time second time third time fourth time but tenth time eleventh time automatically writing a good quality code you can understand what we are talking about okay okay so you know i i i had you know you know given sessions to a lot of people and you know most of the people will won't put their you know 100% is in your your you are different that's why i am not teaching anything i am trying to you know ask you to do everything so that you know you have more number of experience otherwise you will be watching i course that you can you know watch yeah. many video tutorial or course era but you will get that one on one experience Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's okay, but you no. Know, no, just let's try to you know start uh, you know having interviews and you know stopping the learning, right? Yeah. One day, one one you will meet. You know what they will be looking for. Yeah. Okay. So here, you know, the possibilities are you know just a random statement. What they are really looking for is gifts. Yeah, you can see that. in the minimum qualification set point mm-hmm. and point fifty is you know uh, under design principle began to scalable applications similar with design and architecture but these are little advanced you can for moment okay okay and so they said that you know you need to know something on the cloud computing platform side right? mm-hmm. so called amazon aws and uh, 
Microsoft Azure, Google, Computer. Did you know about Amazon AWS? Huh? Because you do not know because that will add a lot of value to you. Okay. And you need to, you know, get some kind of a practice on that. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we go ahead with some other profile. Yes. Okay, we made years of experience in the publication development, maintain support of Python, Django, and MySQL DB, HTML, CSS. Nothing else. No. Okay. okay. Could learn about agile methodology. Whatever I. What do you? Uh, yeah. What do you need to do is go to YouTube, search for you know, Scrum. Okay. okay. Uh, I can tell you what, what is agile and Scrum. That, that you can find a lot of videos saying that you know Scrum under ten minutes, Scrum in you know, under eight minutes or something. You just watch that. They will tell you how say if you want to develop a product or an application. There will be a product manager or product owner, there will be developers, there will be some masters. So how, you know, there will be a lot of scheduled meetings with different names, like planning meeting, planning meeting, and a meeting, retrospective meeting. So they okay. will, you know, it's just a process, okay? You don't need to, you know, they start getting it, but, you know, 10 to 10 minutes, you should be able to do it. In, it's it to repeat. Uh, I think if I read, I mean, in some profiles saw REST API everything. If I had web services, uh, uh, listen to soap, then I it will be fine, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, any good material for uh, any of these? Uh, uh, my my recommendation is you know. You read about you know using books. Oh. I think, you know just go to internet. Like either W schools or tutorials. Find will have you know good amount of tutorials to start. Okay. Once you get, get started, then I can give you the you know good amount of books to read about. Okay. And let's get understand about you know what this is and try to have you know, at least one line of a code which is working on. Okay. 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 Okay, sir. And today, uh, I read about JSON. I had a uh, question regarding that. Uh, okay. What What it means? You know, we are using HTML and JavaScript and uh, CSS for creating a website, right? Okay. And what I understood is JSON is the link between the web server and this uh, browser. Okay, I can give you a real example. Uh, can you open that money dot Just, uh, I would request you to open the page. Okay. Tell Monday, not the JSON page. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 You can click on any talk. Okay. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. You see that, right? Uh, just observe, so the market will be open in 11 minutes. Now you can see this page won't be refreshed. Okay, mm -hmm. but only the values will be refreshed. Yeah. Okay, the, the values of the you not know, on the right side of the graph will be refreshed. Yeah. What you see is, first of down, you got this HTML CSS page. After you are writing a JavaScript. Code either using JavaScript or jQuery to yeah. fetch that uh, URL which we are using. Okay. So will, it will keep on request for every few seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what it will do is it will server will send the data and this JavaScript will take the data and it will update it in the page. 
stop completely fetching the entire page they will just fetch the view and they will update it huh? okay so the the entire page will be something like let's say you know 100 kb or 200 kb okay okay so the json data is just less than kb right less than mm-hmm. 100 characters okay so we are we are saving lot of time on the server processing and Okay, check, check the same page after 10 minutes. See okay. that the values are being updated. Okay, now you can do inspect element, go to the network, give a refresh. Uh, actually, my friend told Ajax is also like, gave me the no, same it example. It is Ajax. Yeah, it's Ajax, you said, and to fetch. Okay. Ajax is the technology where it uh, reads and updates the content without processing the data, but the data exchange format is data. Can you go to one? Okay. Yeah, press the, this press up, right? Okay. Okay, click on the XHR, right? Now, XHR is an Ajax, XML is ready to Now, it will tell you how many Ajax requests are fired. You yeah. can keep this page. You can keep space. Uh, okay. So, uh, after, you know, uh, you know, 11th area, you attack, it will start sending. Ah, it will start sending. Right, you can see that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is current, current state. No, no. Bottom, you can see. Uh, current status dot php. Current status dot php. Oh, okay. There are two things. Right. This is for this. Wait for a moment. Now it, it's in another one. Right. So every few seconds, it will keep on sending the request. The data. If there is any delta, it will update. Uplog, if you, I know from my Indian time, after 11.30 p.m. your ES time, if you look at it, that will be really changing. Yeah. Okay. And I request you to run the same program after 10 minutes, so that at least you can see what's happened. Sure. And then I have another question that you told me to write a code, to fetch the code only in the market time, but we didn't do that. Okay. What a logic is, you know, you should learn about how to, how to operate on data. Only, this is simple. You know yeah. the market uh, timing, right? Yeah, uh, I tried whole day for that, but I didn't get the logic. Because 9.15 to 15.59 is the time, right? I want okay. to mention that uh, in the code, but I'm not getting what kind of time. Can you ask the, can you ask the same question in the stack or flow? Is flow? And you're very careful about using stack workflow because you should tell what you have tried, what it is not working. Otherwise, they will put a negative vote on your question. Okay. Okay. Do you have workflow account? I don't have. Actually, we shouldn't create accounts like that. Okay. You, 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 you can try create. Okay. And, uh, and another question is the uh, difference between the time clock and the uh, uh, Time and the time dot time, I guess. I forgot. Okay. You try it again. Okay. And uh, we'll see what you have tried about. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Anything else? Oh, no. Okay.